Yo, what's going on guys? Now, I know it's been a while since you guys have heard that opening. Um, generally, I don't really do commentary content all that often. However, I will be doing a couple in the upcoming weeks pertaining to a couple of the updates around the seventh anniversary. So do look forward to that, I, um, I hope. Now, I've already actually done this on my Twitch channel and I went over it. However, I was not too happy with the length of it and it was kind of scatterbrained. So I wanted to reattempt it solo by myself off stream and make it a little bit more concise for YouTube so you guys can have a easier viewing. Uh, hopefully it helps. Uh, I do want to mention that this time I will be looking at it on Grand Cypher instead of Twitter just to make it a lot more concise and easier to go through. Um, this is Grand Blue EN's uh, website, so you can always find it off there, um, right under the description on their Twitter. Another thing I like to mention is that the updates are not live and currently we do not have full info on anything in the game. There has been no Korra yet released for the seventh anniversary. Generally, they release it a couple of days after the anniversary um, this one I think will be delayed a little bit more due to the fact that there was such a huge info drop and it's a lot of stuff that needs to be translated or, or just not translated, but a lot of stuff have to be um, put in. So I do think it's going to take a little bit of time before we get the Cora Gra. Um, honestly, I was thinking about just waiting till that came out, but because I thought it'll take too long, I thought I'll just skim over it and go over the updates. Now, hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I think we can get on with it now. This is not like pre, um, like I, there's no type of uh, flow that's gonna happen here. So I'm just gonna just go off the cuff and hopefully it works out well. Now we have Grand Blue Fantasy versus News. We are getting used to this as a new character. Personally, I don't play this game, um, so. I can just give you the sum up, which is going to be that he'll come out and then we'll get like a, if you have the battle pass or if you want to buy the DLC, you probably get either a costume or a character draw ticket. So generally to how it goes, um, I really don't keep up with this game. So if you're looking to me for Grand Blue versus News, probably not the best thing. But on to the actual GBF news. We're gonna here have a Homestay Moon update, which is the anniversary event around society members. Um, keep in mind that currently we're on part two of the event. So first here, we were talking about Relic Buster's full art. Um, keep in mind that Relic Buster will be released with part four of the event, meaning that the next part will be on the 10th and that'll be part three. So we'll have to wait a little bit longer for part four to release. Apparently, you'll be able to lock it without the event later. Um, I don't know how, uh, but I guess it'll be like you have to get some match or something to unlock it. So for the players who miss out on the event, you will still be able to unlock it. Don't worry too much about it. I do like the designs for both outfits. Personally, I did grant a little bit more. It kind of gives me that Matrix vibes. So I really do like his outfit quite a bit, but the Jetta looks great as well. We have two new characters being released. Both are society members, one being Water Isaac. Um, he is rocking a Big Daddy outfit from Biosock, which looks pretty cool. Um, we will see how he plays. I don't think he's a grand unit. There was no mention of it, but maybe he can be. I don't know. The next unit we're looking at is Earth Bea. Um, she has the same type of redesign as Zeta. Uh, I do like her design. Um, personally, I didn't really want another Bea. I was hoping they a five star, either the dark one. Well, mainly the dark one, but we are just getting a new one. Keep in mind that we already have an Earth Bea, but see with an SR unit. And next, we have a dark Eustace five star uncapped for March. Um, I was surprised that they decided to not five star the Earth Eustace. However, Dark One is actually a very good unit. He was used quite a bit about two years ago. 
Um, I am looking forward to see how they upgrade his kit with the five star and will he become relevant again. Next, we have the seventh anniversary news. This is talking about the scratch cards returning. This was something that was implemented with the sixth anniversary. It was a lot of salt and anger um, throughout the player base. Some people got great stuff. Some people got actually nothing because there was no fail safe with the mechanic. Um, there was no guaranteed rare item. This time though, you will get a guaranteed rare item on the final day. So this time everyone will at least get something rather than some people getting nothing and others getting a ton of stuff. Also, apparently there's a hint about scratch cards saying um, some scratch cards will make it easier to get rare items. I'm guessing that by this uh, background right here, depending on the background maybe, your card may be luckier than others. I'm not really sure how it's working. Now we on to the next update, which will be that we will have seven times XP and RP boost for 7 million for each. Um, this will last for two durations. One duration will be from the uh, March 10th to March 20th. The ex uh, next one will be from March 20th to March 31st. This, I don't really know if it's gonna be separate when it comes to the 7 million cap, or will it um, combine both? Hopefully it's separate, meaning that it'll be a total of 14 million but I don't think we have enough info on it right now to know if it's separate or together. Next, we have the seventh anniversary weapon ticket. Now, this weapon ticket is kind of like the same as the other ones. Um, the only issue here is that we don't know if the Magna 2.5 weapons, which will be Shiva Staff, Europa Fist, Alex Sword, Grimnir's Staff, Right, it's a staff, right? Um, we don't know if those weapons are included. I will go over this ticket when it releases. Until then, um, I would recommend players hold back before using the ticket. Next thing we have here is the seventh anniversary skins for Urius and Usus. Urius is looking like Pimp Daddy over here. Um, I love his design, looks pretty good. Unfortunately, we only have one Urius in the game right now. So hopefully he gets another character soon. Um, this is mainly gonna be only used on the wind variant right now. So I don't know how they're gonna do his skill one. Hopefully it's as meme-tastic as the current one, but we'll see. And Eustace is looking great. Um, I don't know if I'll use this one much. I really do like the, her fire variant, but hey, it looks great to me. We'll see how the animation look when the uh, characters come out. Now we here have the seventh anniversary draw ticket. Now this is the anniversary ticket that people um, tend to go ham on. Um, I will talk about it when it comes out. Uh, it's following the same trend where it has the limited units for two years ago and then the holiday units for the last year. So we're looking at units like um, Kalulu, Lucio, Toot Toot, and other good units like Nemone as well. But I will go over it when it comes out. Normally I save it until like the last couple days, but this time I will go over it immediately and just add a disclaimer for people who are looking to surprise to get summer units. We here have another star premium ticket. This would be for the anniversary. Um, this will be for 2019 or 2020 units. So any, I think any seasonal unit from 2019 to 2020. So like Caliostro Summer, Howlin' Mouse Summer, Summer Alex, um, Howlin' uh, Foshrag Zeta, stuff like that for 2019 and then 2020 be like Lucio and the units I mentioned earlier. Uh, personally, I think if you're trying to pick which gives you the most value I still say the anniversary ticket gives you more value because you pick it. Um, this is more randomized, but still good value if you don't have a lot of units. Then we have another star premium gotcha. Um, this one goes live on the 29th 
and it's a grant a guaranteed draw for a, a grand or zodiac character in legend fest gotcha that does not mean flask gala it's only for legend fest apparently um that's what i've been told i could be wrong i'm i am told it's legend fest only uh this will be include the zodiacs and the new units like Kaliosho and all the other grants. Vikla will not be in this banner though. Here we have login bonuses being updated. You will now gain points every day. So every day you log in, you get points. Those points can be used to redeem outfits. Um, also, you'll be able to use them to redeem weapons as well. Outfits will be released periodically, I believe. Um, the first two being Siegfried and Claris. If you remember back in the day, we used to have people talk about a skin gotcha. They decided to scrap that idea and um, use this new one. So you know, if, if you remember back to the old screenshot, they did have John as a uh, new skin. So I expect her to be sometime in the next month or so. So if you're, if you're like a big John fan like me, um, you may want to hold your points for when he comes out. I don't know when that can happen. That could be April. That could be like May, June, July. I don't know. Now, if you guys remember in 2020, there was two really special things that the game introduced and there were special missions that gave out a bunch of great rewards. Um, the biggest one being a sunstone around like 4,000 points. Now, they decided to actually make this a regular part of the game, which is a good idea. And there will be one-time missions. So I'm guessing the one-time mission is going to be the really key items like Sunstone. Also, there will be weekly missions and um, lots of rewards. I'm not too sure how it's going to be done. Um, I'm not sure if it will be renewed. I don't know, but they're going to make it permanent now. Uh, there's no date when it's going to happen, by the way, but if I had to guess, it will be live on the 10th or 22nd, one to two. We do have a new masquerade class job coming on the 10th. This will be EX2 Dancer. Uh, it looks great. I don't know how it's going to work, but if it's anything like Dancer, it will be based around double striking, which should be pretty good. Um, it's a dagger class, by the way, so keep that in mind. Now, we have character rebalances, and I will not talk about these, mainly because I do plan on going over each and every character rebalance. Now, I, the characters here are uh, Esta, Octo, Percival, and Anila. There's more characters, um, but I will be going over them all in a separate video. I will not go over them here. The same thing applies to the Evoker EMPs. I will go over that in a separate video and not on here, but they will be EMPs and it'll be a totally different EMP system than what we're used to. Raids are becoming one player now. They're changing a lot of raids in the game due to the sheer amount of them. Um, they're gonna try to drop the numbers down so it's less raids. Half the raids people don't even know existed like Griffin. Not many people know there was a Griffin raid, um, Ancient Dragon. So all these are being removed to become solo battles. They're also removing a couple of the impossible battles as well. Twin Elements, Mackie, Medusa, Nez, Apollo, and Dark Angel Olivia. They'll all become solo player. So you have to solo them if you need them. I, I do hope that when they change this, that uh, the drop rate for the animas get a huge boost um, I always found the anima to be a big issue with these raids. So I do hope that they, um, fix the anima problem when it comes to these. So here we have, what's this? It's easier if we just post a new item and cost and treasure trade. Huh? So I'm guessing these are new was a trading item. I actually don't know what this is. Let me check. Job distinctions. Okay. 
So I'm guessing you trade for these. Gale Rock. Will Mass Finger. Oh, they're re they're changing the numbers on the tr so. When it comes to trading items, I I'll have to go and grab blitz to show it to you guys, right? As I mentioned, I did not like plan this out. So the best way to show would be right here. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's weapons, right? Where's weapon? Weapons here, right? I'm not spoken. I clicked on this tab and I was like, why is there no weapons here? Um, here, so. They're changing the amount it takes to trade for a weapon. So you can see here how it takes 150. They're gonna reduce that to 50. So all this number to being changed, we can we will be tra able to trade now for animas. Ooh, my Discord opened. We'll be able to trade now for animas, which is pretty cool. Which is I think it's this one. Nope. Nope, that's Dark Rapture. It's, which one is it, bro? I don't speak Japanese, bro. It's one. Of, it's one of these. <laughs> I don't remember which one it is. Maybe this one. I don't remember. Uh, there it is. So we'll be able to trade for normal animas with these. So that'd be cool. I always found Kieran and and um Long Dong to be a problem. So we'll get that changed. They also will be um uncapping the amount of flawed prisms yeah Fra flawed prisms will no longer cost anything they're also changing the amount when it comes to pendants too yeah pendants are being changed Um, next thing we have to look at is that the water grand weapons will be changed as well. Um, their argument was that because water ha hasn't had a grand unit in a while, keep in mind it's their fault, but because water hadn't had a grand unit in a while, they're going to buff the grand units, uh, the grand weapons. Um, they decided to go after Tie Side Spirit Bow and Galilee Lee Insight. Uh, no Merg. And no ball. Personally, I think it's good. It just gives a bigger boost to water crit, which I'm okay with. I don't know what's going to be optimal when it comes to grid building, when it comes pertains to crit, until we figure out. When I when I go through, you understand what I mean by that. But they, they will be uncapped for the primals, so I don't know what's going to be the optimal grid when it comes to critical because we don't know the numbers yet. But do know that they are changing it. Um, they're, they're all adding a new a new modifier with the stamina too. I believe that people mentioned, I keep opening Discord, but I believe that uh, people mentioned that Fidel's spine already had stamina too, but I don't think it did, right? I don't think it did. I don't know where my spine is. is this, it's a sword, right? Yeah. Uh, no, it's not stamina too. I don't know why I believe that, but yeah. Um, to be the first stamina two weapon in the game, which is pretty cool. I, it's a good buff. Uh, I would have preferred new weapons, but this is actually the better outcome. <laughs> I don't have to spend bars. On three ten. We're getting the ability to reduce silver relic weapons into silver weapons shards, aka the items that drop from Akasha. So that'll be a good um, change. You don't have to go through the hell of farming Akasha nearly as much. Keep in mind that the weapon drops are very, very low though. The rank cap will go up to 300 um, on the 22nd of March and that the quest for the uncap will be new and unique. I will be doing this live on my live stream. I don't know if I record it. I never generally record my uncaps anymore since the, I think 200 uncap where you had to solo you Baja because most of the uncaps have been kind of meme. I, 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 I kind of missed when the uncaps were supposed to be like hard fights. Now it's like, oh, like do this gimmick battle. So 
I would have liked them to go back to where like you had to struggle to uncap. Like uncapping was a challenge. And if you beat the challenge, you were worthy. That's what I thought uncapping was about. Now it's like, I don't know. Do the scripted battle and, and oh, you're done. It's what it is. On 322, we're getting Luminera Malice, which will drop a new bow and a staff, I believe. But knowing it, Grand Blue, this weapon is a melee, and this weapon is a freaking axe. Grand Blue things. <laughs> she looks great, though. Um, we did fight this fight in, I think, story mode? Or what Catalina's Fate episode. I think it's Catalina's Fate episode. But, um, it's cool. Cool. Dark Rapture Hard with the Ascendant Prayer. So this is the same thing that's um, in Yubaha High Level, uh, where you can use your world, not, not world, you can use the um, Halos and Urns to get a massive boost. Um, I don't think it's worth it, personally, especially because how, how easy Fa High Level is. I am doing um, actual Fa High Level carry rooms because I'm, I'm trying to get grains. So if you if you need Fa High Level to join my stream, I usually do them like on the weekends. I may do them on the weekdays every now and then. Just look around on my Discord and I usually, I'll ping it when I do the room. I won't be doing it forever though. I'm just doing it because I need grains to uncap the Eternals. Currently I, I need um 60 more chunks, I think. And I'll have enough for every Eternal. Um. Another thing about the prayer is that if you fail the raid, you will get returned the match used for it. It only applies if you, uh, it only gets consumed if you complete the quest. However, the host map will always get consumed even if you fail or pass. And you won't earn the solo trophies from doing it. So keep that in mind. So as I mentioned here, that the five-star primals are going to become a thing. Um, I think the arts for them is amazing, actually. I think that's the best part about the five-star primals. Uh, I really hope that they somehow implement these as bosses for Rise of the Beast as, like, a new mode. Like, like currently, they're EX+, plus, Varina not being there as Neptune, and Hades and... Um, I think I'll call them Hades. Zeus and Hades don't, they're not in that event at all. They're only for GW. But it would be nice that they use this new art for the fights because I don't want the art to go to waste. Now, there's a lot of controversy when it comes to this uncap because KMR made a little snickering comment that it may use reduced primals or something like that. However, I would like people to really just wait until we get the full info. Don't like become a doomer. Um, wait till we get the full info. Even I was being a doomer because I don't currently have a copy of Varina. So I was all dooming, doom and gloom. But I'm just trying to be more optimistic, you know. Uh, I do believe they'll have another way. Even if you needed, a, 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 let's say, a copy of it. I, I There's going to be another way, right? They're, they're, not, they're not that evil. I hope. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> Don't do. I gotta be optimistic. <laughs> um, there's gonna be a quality of life update for 310, which will change the way that we add pluses to our weapons and summons. Uh, I don't really understand how it's gonna work. We're gonna get like little balls to upgrade them quicker, I believe. Hopefully, it's very convenient. Because currently, I hate moving pluses. I really, really hate it. I try not to move any weapon pluses. Like, I really try not to. So, hopefully, it's very convenient. Because it's it takes too long. Especially when you want to plus, plus 300 a character. Oh, I hate that. Now, here's another quality of life upgrade. They're going to change the way the upgrade um, screen looks. This is mainly so that when you're on your phone... You don't have to scroll down to use like a grail. It's a small quality of life upgrade, but it's big. Now, there's going to be some new auto guard mechanic coming to V2 for full auto. I don't really know how it's going to work. 
and apparently it, it will auto guard when an omen is active um personally i probably won't use it because all the content i can already fought out um but we'll see i really don't get it because some omens you can't you kind of want to break them instead rather than um taking them on guard so i'm not too sure we'll see 322 you can now uh, automatically recycle a weapon Recycling means that uh, destroy the weapon, like for, and you get like um, weapon fragments. Personally, I don't think this is too big of a thing, mainly because most of my weapons go to Grails. But it's just quality of life for people who are, I guess, farming weapons, weapon fragments. Multiple uncapped will be available at once. Took them like seven years, crazy. So now you can uncap everything in one go rather than one at a time. The small quality of life change. Um, the fact that this is now added seven years later, it's kind of bad, kind of bad, kind of bad. But hey, better late than never. Now, weirdly, I had this recording crash, but we're going back on track um, off to the most appalling thing I've ever seen KMR ever do in Grand Blue till date um this is actually atrocity he decided to truly attack our wallets in the worst fashion ever and i'm appalled he decided that one zodiac was not enough two zodiacs was not enough he just put three zodiacs in bikinis his stocks weren't going to the moon but i tell you at the end of this month they will be Andira and Kambira are getting swimsuit variants in the month of March. One was bad enough. You know, Andira, I was okay. I expected Monkey to get her swimsuit, you know. Anila getting hers was like, you know, we, we had an idea that they were going to release swimsuit variants for the Zodiacs. Kambira, though, they skipped my hero. They know my hair don't sell. They were like, let's go with the big titties. The Garu? Oh, yeah, we got, we throw her in a bikini immediately. And then they hit every point on it, too. They were like, you know what? We need to make this unit 10 out of 10. Her kid at this point, it don't matter. They, they already sold the product. It doesn't matter. The kit, people will be looking at her kit at this point. The kit is like whatever they added, it was not. I mean, we already knew Combear was there because he's in Anella's art, right? We knew it. We had we had a feeling it was going to happen, but not like this. <laughs> I don't think anyone was expecting this. And if you were, I hope your wallet expecting it too, because your wallet get embodied. It's a zero ten matchup. Cam all one. You you're going in with L's. So you might well take the L and succumb to the pain and the torture of rolling on this banner for these two beauties. One of them is going to send you to jail. So if you're a part of Andira's culture and the Vicky Club, you're going to jail. I'll be hoping that your <laughs> your cell looks pretty clean. <laughs> if you're in the Combera Club with me, well, we're broke. <laughs> so... <laughs> Better hope that stimulus check comes through. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a rough month, man. It's gonna. Oh, God darn it. Um, Summer Ismir getting a new pose. That's cool. Ayer and Korra as well, but there's no picture. Unfortunate, but we get all the booty. I, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. You know why? Then it's still the pictures for everybody else. It's because Izmir's butt was so damn big. She took up the whole fucking, like, the whole, the whole screen. And they didn't have no space for the other characters. I'll be honest. Um, April, five-star uncap is going to be Warder Sushi. Or Sushi, whatever you want to call her. I don't care. Ah, uh, it is what it is. It's cool. Um, I used to use her a lot, actually, early when Yubaha High Level first came out. I don't use her anymore though, so I am looking forward to see how they change her around. Um, she was actually a really good healer, 
So I don't know if they're going to make her a good healer again, or are they going to try to make her more damage oriented? But I'll, I'll look forward to it. I'm going to guess it, it comes out right before GW or during GW. So just be prepared to level up a unit if she's like core for GW for auto. I don't think she's going to be core for manual play, but for auto, she'd be pretty good maybe. This they just got to change around her skill one. Or make her cast skill one on Ogi. Not Ogi, on special attack or something like that. Here we have the daily limit on treasure trade being lifted. Uh, oh, I already, didn't I already talk about this? Oh, I must have got the um, the previous point wrong then about the change. The reduction on the items. Maybe I got that wrong. I don't know. But uh, they're going to be removing the daily treasure limit trade. So we now be able to get unlimited pots, berries, and I like how they put flawed prisms. <laughs> Because the community been in uproar because we need so many for the six star internals uncap. Here we have a video of it. Um, this is sheep. I can see the video of him reacting to it. <laughs> it's that. It's sad. <laughs> it's so sad. <laughs> That's probably the best update. <laughs> Of the anniversary, man. So, updates to item prices, monthly limits in the treasure trade, and pendant shop. Okay. Did I swore I talked about this earlier. Didn't I? Am I crazy? I've been here for 30 minutes. I can't, I, I can't make this short. I'm trying. I'm trying so hard to make it short, but it's hard. <laughs> There's so much info. It's like a huge dump all over you. Like, what the hell? <laughs> oh, here we have a preview trailer for the new main story. And oh my god. Oh my god. Why is he look? I can't, wait, 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 wait. Why does he look so good? What the hell? <laughs> oh. Oh, I want this skin so bad. Look at her. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe they made her look that good. This is the best outfit. Like, Masquerade, can, they just killed it. How they release this and then release Masquerade and be like, oh, yeah, you know, good job. Like, what the? And we got to wait till June? Bruh. Why she look so good? Crazy. Actually, cra Grant, you look good too, but it's, it's like, it's like it's not even close. <laughs> it's not even close. Um, we have Seeds of, Redemp Seeds of Redemption having a rerun. I believe it will happen in April-ish. Uh, cool. I don't know if they're going to add back a return of the pick up a free eternal. I don't know if it'll come back as well or it's a one-time thing. But look forward to it. If you haven't played it, it's the Eternals event. Personally, it was kind of underwhelming. I won't lie. I liked it. It had great music. I won't lie. The music was godlike. But the story though, Mugen, I can't, no, I can't stand that guy. <laughs> there was too much Mugen and not enough, nah. That's all I gotta say. All I gotta say. Um, Towards the end of the year, we're gonna have Replicard Sandbox getting a new area. So near the end of 2021. And it will offer a new star of uncapped for the foundation weapons and more of guidebooks. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, wrap the card is something you can kind of do in like, a, like at your own pace. So near the end of the year, honestly, bro, I won't be surprised if it's to come out to 2022. I've been playing Grand Blue enough and end of the year sounds like 2022 to me. <laughs> Um, we have six new raids coming out, one for each element, um, and they'll be around the difficulty of twin elements. I don't know why people are speculating Magna 3, and personally I hope it is, because currently with the new, um, Optimus series upgrade, the five star, Magna getting thrashed, all Magna players. 
this is gonna be rough now. Your damage is not gonna be looking like no five star. <laughs> so it would be a good upgrade to give Magna a buff because Primal's gonna be it's gonna the gap just got big, and they're gonna need to close that gap again. <clears throat> Belial getting a um impossible raid now high level. Apparently he's gonna be around the same difficulty as Bubs and Fa. And upon defeating him, you'll get items to use for new pendulums for the Dark Opus weapons. That means that... I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Uh, personally, I would like new weapons. But I can understand why they didn't do it. So, I'm not too sure. Uh, hopefully, it's a fun raid. Hopefully. Please not, everyone. Don't everyone play Earth on this raid. I, I know you want to. I know you want to. But please don't. Please make the raid anti-Earth. With whatever way you can. I don't want to see a bunch of Earth players in this raid. And it's going to happen. It's going to be very annoying. I want variety. Variety. Um, I will be going for World First Solo. I did miss out on that. On buffs by like a couple hours. Because I went to sleep. I was very tired. So I will be going for World First. And hopefully I get it. This time. Uh, three stages of upgrades to tier four and EX2 classes. So we have summer 2021, a new EMP skill for class four and EX2. So that's cool. Um, and class specific EXP. I don't know what they mean by this part, but we, um, we are getting new skills, which is always, um, always a good thing. Uh, winter 2021, we'll get new class champion weapons for tier 4. Not looking forward to that. You know what that means, right? Big boob lady. We're going back there again. <laughs> but be, recommendation? Start farming now. <laughs> we're going back. I don't wanna. I really don't wanna. <laughs> Big boob lady. <sighs> I don't like going to her, man. She sucks. <laughs> And in spring 2022, we get new class weapons for EX2. I can't believe they have plans for a full year. <laughs> like, spring, tw it's not even spring 2021 yet. <laughs> it's still winter. <laughs> like, what the hell? And at the end, we here have April 1st collab. And you can see here, um, somebody on my stream called this guy Sonic. Do you know how much that hurt me? <laughs> I, I gotta mention, I'm sorry, Naru. You, I can't believe you called this guy Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I can't, be, I can't believe that. Anyway, it's gonna be a bubble, 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 bubble. Uh, it's an anime that I first actually watched on Toonami when I was a kid. It's like a gag anime, which would fit the whole April Fool's style. So, looking forward to it. Hopefully, it's good. Uh, it gives good laughs. And hopefully, it's a playable unit, maybe? Generally, we get costumes for April Fools. So, I don't know if they're going to be a unit. I really hope so. I don't want them to be a summon. I want them to be a unit. But, we'll see. <clears throat> Here, we have non-game updates. Bea and Zeta are getting a... Uh, getting a figure. That's pretty cool. I may get it. Probably get it. This is Zeta. I don't know. I don't, I'm not really too much of a fan of Bea. I'm more a fan of Zeta. So, yeah. If I get any, it'd be Zeta. Q-Pot collab. I don't know what this is. Q-Pot. Woo, woo. Um, a Q-Pot cafe. It's, I don't know. Oh, here it is. Anime info. Grand Blues Blu-ray is coming out on the 26th. And you can get either a Gold Break Sunstone... Evil Light are Dama Crystals. Great thing to get for people. Um, it should be roughly like around 80 USD to like 120-ish. So if you got the money, it's good. It's better than buying all the volumes of the anime. So. Uh, here we, they're talking about Grand Blue Fest being hard to host for 2021. Thanks to COVID, if they plan on doing it, um, if they can do it, they will. If not, it'll be a live stream like last year. So we'll see. It probably won't happen, though. 
COVID's, you know, it's, it, it's been rough. So, I don't expect it to happen. They're doing a mobile coin giveaway, but it requires, like, a verified account with a Japanese phone number. So that if you, like, if you go on your My page, um, in grand blue, like, a message right here asking you to verify your account. And it'll give you, like, 1,000 crystals. Unless you have it, you can't do it. Unless you um, did it, you can't do it. There's also a Sky Leap 200 crystals per login. So, yeah. Make sure to log in on your phone with Sky Leap to get the 200 crystals. I believe this begins on the 10th. I believe on the 10th, I believe. You will get in the 200 crystals. Starting on the 10th as well, we get Gotcha Pin returning. Um, the commercial was actually very funny, um, so that's cool. Gotcha Pin will be only 100 rolls max this time around, not 200 like Christmas. However, it will offer a new double Moku mode. Um, so you get it after the Maku frenzy, and then Maku comes again. I don't know how it really works. It, I, it's like guaranteed SSR again. I don't know. It's guaranteed 100 rolls. Oh, yeah, here it is. <clears throat> so we'll get two actual guaranteed 100 rolls. One will be applied on 320, and another will be applied on 330. So we get guaranteed 100 rolls twice, which is pretty good. All Zodiacs will be in the 330 banner. So the banner on 330 will have all Zodiacs besides Vicola. And 320 will be Flaskala. There's a fine print in the gotcha. This would be um, 0 0.6 chance of getting a grand character, 0.24% chance of getting a zodiac. And here it is. Here's the March 20th thing. Um, apparently, there'll be no rate up, by the way, for um, the banner that goes from 319 to 321. And that's everything. Um, that was a lot. A lot to go over. Tell me your opinions on everything. You, you can kind of see why I didn't want to go over the character rebalances here. Because it's so much. Um, I'll wait till like the full group is released. And then I'll talk over the character rebalances. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was long. Sorry about that. I try to make it as fast as possible. Um, leave it in the comments if you have any questions. And thank you guys for watching. Later.